can do it, Sam. Book by Amy Haste, illustrated by Anita Durham. It happened one winter morning on Plum Street, and the moon was still up, making moonbeams and shadows on Plum Street. In the little white house, Mrs. Bear and Sam were baking cakes. They stirred with big spoons, swirling and tasting batter. They peeked in the oven at two rows of cakes, golden brown cakes, for their friends on Plum Street. Come on, cakes! Whispered Sam. I can't wait! I can't wait! I can't wait! Mrs. Bear and Sam waited for cakes. Now can we go, Mama? Now? Said Sam. Soon, Mrs. Bear said. Soon, Sam. They waited and waited, and then at last, Mrs. Bear sniffed the air with her nose in the air and said, "I believe our cakes are ready." Mrs. Bear and Sam counted cakes, and there were twelve cakes. They tucked them in the bags, and there were twelve red bags. Outside, snow tumbled on the house and sprinkled the trees. It powdered the yard in Mrs. Bear's truck, and Mrs. Bear and Sam climbed up in the truck that was green. They bumped along in the early light, just the two of them on Plum Street, up hill and down, up and down, to the very end of Plum Street. Our friends will love my cakes, Sam told his mama. Of course, Miss Bear said. Mrs. Bear pulled up close to the first sleepy house. Here we are, Sam. I'll wait here, and you take the cake. Ah,、uh, all by myself," whispered Sam. "Go, go, go!" Mrs. Bear put her arm around Sam. "You can't do it, Sam." And off he went, all by himself in the new snow, all by himself, waving a red bag and waving to Mrs. Bear, all by himself, taking cake to their friends. Sam left the red bag at the door. The sign on the bag said, "A tasty surprise." Then he ran back to the truck where his mama was waiting. "I did it," said Sam. "Of course," said Mrs. Bear. Mrs. Bear and Sam bumped along, just the two of them, up hill and down, up and down, at each sleepy house. Mrs. Bear stopped the truck. She put her arm around Sam. Here I go," whispered Sam. "Go, go, go," Mrs. Bear said, and off he went, making tracks in the new snow, waving a red bag and waving to Mrs. Bear, leaving one tasty cake at each sleepy door, all by himself, until they got home. There were two cakes left and two red bags. Hmm," said Mrs. Bear. "For us," whispered Sam. Of course," said Mrs. Bear. Mrs. Bear and Sam held hands on the path to the little white house, and the sun was just shining up the little white house. "Hello, house," said Sam, and they went inside, kicking snow off their boots. Mrs. Bear poured cocoa in cups, and they wiggled their toes in fat socks, enjoying their cakes of cocoa as their bellies filled up. They took turns telling stories—stories stories about a bear called Sam. Who took cakes all by himself to his friends, and they all loved his cakes so much, and that's what happened one winter morning on Plum Street. The end.